Hey guys, it's Cross again from CMAPS and I've got a new video for you today and it's gonna be on kind of what's on my phone 2.0 because I'm gonna show you everything I've got uh, with all my apps and well my basic apps and all my CDA tweaks that I've got installed and well let's get started with the lock screen and what I've got here is um, kind of the first part of my uh, Dream Ball theme that I really love is it's Apex one I'm gonna show you in a second and here now I have this um, profile picture in this case of Avril Lavigne because I still like her and I think it looks beautiful. Then on the top I disabled my grabbers uh, notification center and uh, control center grabbers so that's really beautiful. It doesn't it has this clean look on the lock screen so um, it's it has a uh, orange look on the lock screen and I have byte byte no uh, what is it called it's byte font 2 right uh, so I have this nice little um, uh, uh, font that I have on my lock screen and everywhere else. I'm, I'm gonna change this maybe because I, I'm i not really proud of the lock screen like that but okay let's go to the home screen. And this is what Apex One looks like. You have a uh, custom wallpaper up here and you have this five, par five to four grid of icons and well on the top again I have this nice little icon up here. I have my uh, weather weather and location so that's really nice I have uh, some text about me and my favorites where I'm gonna go to in a second so I have my contacts on the left side over here then to the right I have calendar SMS insta message because I like to chat over that and this is a widget that comes with um with the theme it's a clock it doesn't have the best graphics I don't know why I'm, I'm maybe I'm just gonna kind of update it or try to edit it in iFile to make it look better but that's okay then in the next row I have Julie Cloud which is many of my cloud services like Google May, uh, Google Drive I think Google Drive Dropbox and all that stuff in one app that's really awesome next I'll have my videos and then I have my photos which have this nice little icon uh, from Apex one it has it had some like realistic icons so that's really nice then I had uh, have my Facebook Messenger app and my uh, weather which weather uh, icon which I might change because I'm not really uh, proud of that it just looks kind of uh, well cheap then on the next side I have my like on the normal home screen I have my settings then iTunes the App Store and iStudies, iStudies Pro which is for my school with all my timetables and all my stuff I have to do uh, then I have my reminder so it's clear in this case which is kind of the thing I think the best reminder for the iPhone and also for the iPad now, I think. And on the bottom row, I have Cydia. Then I have, what was it called? I think Magic. Let me look. Cloud Magic, which is a nice uh, mail app for you. I really love it. I'm, I might make an app uh, review for that. Then in the bottom, I, well, of course, I have WhatsApp. Then next is my browser with Dolphin Browser, which is really basically easy to use and really fast so I really love it and then I have my music player which I'm, I'm gonna show you a tweak later that I use it also has this nice little uh, icon and then if I tap on the star as I showed you I have my favorites and my games um, I'm, I might change this because I have four rows of uh, favorites and two rows of games but okay that's not that important so I have my Amazon I have convertible uh, which is like um, it converts a uh, units every I, I think maybe every unit I ever use the so that's really nice then I have translator which is really awesome it also speaks to you so maybe if you're a different country that's awesome then I have stats for YouTube uh, that's really awesome so you can see all your stats and how many views you've got in just one app and you don't have to go to Safari click on YouTube and all that stuff then I've got Nike running which is pretty awesome to use because it, because it talks to you while you're, walk, while you're running of course and tells you how fast it goes so that's a really awesome app and I love it. Next I have Cleaner which is a city tweak, city app and it just basically cleans um, quickly or deeply uh, your RAM and makes your phone a bit faster for a while. Then I have of course Shazam. I had SoundHound and Shazam kind of uh, but I think Shazam was the better choice for me right now. I don't really know. I think both are equal, but I just like Shazam more. Then I, next I'll have TV Spielfilm, which is kind of German, but it shows you all uh, what is on TV and all that stuff. Um, just basically that, I don't really remember 
that much that I can do anymore, but okay, it just shows you what's on TV. Then next I have Jasmine because I don't like the normal YouTube app. This is a basically white and simple app uh, for YouTube and it's really nice. Then next I have DSB Mobile which is just for my school. So that just shows me what uh, things are missing if, if, I, ha if I have any miss missing classes or something. So that's uh, well nothing important. Next I have uh, one safe which I made a review of and it's really awesome. It's a password manager and well, also some other managing things so you can store credit cards or um, photos, all, all kind of stuff and it's really secure so that's awesome. Uh, next I have Facebook, well basically you don't have to say anything. And then in the game section I'll have my favorite game, it's Infinity Blade 3. It has awesome graphics, awesome gameplay, sometimes it's a bit, it's a bit laggy but it's still my favorite game for the iPhone. Then I have Cut the Rope and I'm just gonna show Angry Birds, Star Wars and Angry Birds. These are three of my um, kind of, well, on the go game that I just play on the train on somewhere if I'm waiting somewhere. So they are quite, quite good, I love them. And now next I have iMopsus, which is I think the oldest app that I've got on my phone. I've got it since I've got my first iPhone. It's just basically an app the way you have to do missions and not really much, you just have to do that. And you can come back every day, so it's like, um, when I wake up I do that for three minutes or something and then it's done, done and I earn some money, well money in the game and it's really basically something that I do every day and it doesn't really use much time that I have but I don't know I just had it so long so I really love it I don't know. Then I have Great Big War Game and I think it's uh, yeah it's Great Big War Game that was a great small war game or something the, this is the bigger version and it's a nice little um, army strategy game that's really nice, it has some uh, nice graphics, not the best but it's quite simple and uh, cute, so that's, that are my games and if you go to the right, uh, I made a really good review of this uh, whole Greenbow theme, you get all my apps and basically these and these are all the apps that I normally use, so um, yeah that's basically to the apps, let's go to the uh, tweak that I've got, I've got action menu which gives you the ability to Let's go to notes to uh, edit this um, well action menu that you get when you tap, double tap somewhere or hold somewhere. I can now, I have uh, enabled some icons so I can just tap that. So that's a really neat uh, tweak that you should check out. And activator, I think everybody knows, um, I don't really use it that much but um, I just use it for my double tapping home button because I disabled that. So if I tap, hold my home button I go to this multi multitasking menu. Then I have alkaline which is my battery up here, Changes can change your battery which is really awesome. I have area which is a music player uh, tweak which I tell, told you about. If I now go into artists you get this, um, I don't know, this uh, album art kind of thing, you know what I mean, it's like on the Mac or something and also in the album section so that's really nice if I now go into song alive, turn it off, uh, no nothing changed I think you can change uh, how you can change the shuffle button or no the repeat button because now you always have to change maybe it's gonna be like the shuffle so that's basically really easy tweak but it's really nice then of course I have call bar which is one of my favorite tweaks because I use it all the time I can call someone from anywhere I don't have to go to my phone app so that's really awesome CC loader is just basically for my control center what things I have in in what what order and I've just got normal uh, toggles over here, so Wi-Fi and ringing and respring. Then I have my uh, AirPlay and AirDrops thing and my music player. And down here I have Pro Widgets, which I'm going to show you in a second when I get there. Display Recorder, which I'm using right now, which is quite awesome for iOS 7. Then Flip Control Center, which is uh, more switches that, are, that you normally have, so that's pretty good. Uh, this is just for all these switches if you need some more that you, than you normally have. Full Force is good for I think three apps, two apps that I've got. Um, Pro Widgets, no, not even. Oh, I deleted them so I can delete this because it just uh, optimizes the iPhone 4 apps to iPhone 5 screen. Quite good if you have any apps like that. Then I have Grid Switcher which I showed you before. It's this kind of thing, you can still uh, pull up apps to delete them. Really easy to use and that's just basically faster I think. And then I have Hide Me 7, which is um, I just use for my lock screen to hide all the camera grabbers and all that stuff that I don't want to see. You can also 
disable springboard things and all that, but I don't need that. Um, jelly lock, which is my favorite uh, lock screen tweak. I showed you before, it's this little circle over here. You can add shortcuts of your apps, but they always look like on the home screen, not like this black and white thing. And on iOS 7, you can't edit them. So um, and that's sad because I would like to have some WhatsApp uh, icon in black and white or something. But I still think it's great. Then NC Obey is great because um, if I now swipe down, uh, I could now, if I swipe down to the left, no, why doesn't it work? I, uh, yeah, okay, it doesn't work because I have some notifications. And now I could just swipe over to the right and left to go to the next tabs. So that's pretty awesome. And it normally, if I don't have any messages, I'm gonna show you in a second. Because I have auto clear, if I now, uh, I don't have to double tap this clear button to dis uh, to delete my messages. So I'll just tap it once and then if I would now go to uh, notifications and it just shows me my today view. So only if I don't have any notifications, it shows me my today view. Sorry for that. Then Nitrous, Nitrous, yeah, I think Nitrous is pretty awesome because it uh, speeds up the, uh, I don't know, the f some kinds of things in, uh, in browsing apps or something so it makes browsing as fast as in safari because that uses some type of html or something i have no idea it just makes uh, all the app all the uh, third-party apps as fast as the mac uh, apple apps so uh, quite good if you use it and then i have no grabber which is um if i'm in full screen apps i would normally get this grabber before uh, i see my notification center and this just disables that so i can always pull up my notification center and oh Sorry, I'm gonna show you that in a second. And my, um, so it just disabled these grabbers. Then no slow animation, just speeds up the animation from default um, to uh, very fast, which is nice. Then power banners, because I didn't like this uh, pop-up that comes if you have 20 and 10%. So this just um, gives me a little banner in the top of my battery percentage. Then I have pro widgets, which I made a video of. It just gives you some widgets for your um, iPhone like this timer, you can minimize them, push them around and open multiple ones. So let's say a dictionary. So that's pretty awesome. And double tap them to delete, to close them. This is pro widget, just check out the uh, video in the, I'm gonna link all the videos in the bottom, like kind of all of my videos. Then status HD HUD 2, it gives me my uh, volume in the status bar as you can see, which is pretty nice. It doesn't always work in landscape, but it's still very awesome. Then I have status modifier, which gives me, in my case, just my RAM and uh, next to my clock over here. It can do many more things. Uh, let me see. Yeah, here you can add seconds, hours, and all these things. Just, well, just look at this. And you can all add all these things to your status bar as you wish. And now I have tiny bar. You might see if I've got some messages right now. It makes my uh, notification, sent notification bar really tiny, so it's just in the in my status bar, sorry, I'm just mixing words up right now. And you can enable how long you want to see them and all that stuff, so it's really slim and easy. And winter board I'm just using, kind of just using squares because this Apex theme has square icons and now with this, all my apps are kind of square, not all, not all work like by default in the up uh, down corners here. It doesn't really work that well, but it still gives the whole theme a better look. And I think this is kind of everything I've got. Um, let me just see, cleaner, yeah, I kind of covered everything. I really love this Dreamboard theme and I'm using it now for some weeks. And yeah, I have Speed Homie, which is pretty funny. Um, it, um, yeah, I'm just tapping it now and it closes really fast. But what it does, um, it is able to double tapping on the home button. That's why it uh, reacts faster. But um, that's why I used Activator to put my multitasking onto the holding of my uh, home button so that's not really the big deal but it's really fast now as you can see now it closes immediately so i think this is everything to these to this last little two of my iphone and it's quite long right now but i think this is everything so thanks for watching and see you next time